Okay, everybody. This seems to be the culprit right here. This is that uh, Benjamin Moore Advance that everybody's talking about when it comes to painting cabinets. It's a water-based alkyd, and it, uh, which means that its uh, its ingredients are suspended in water, um, but it winds up giving you a a surface that's more akin to an oil-based. So it's supposed to give you an extra hard, smooth surface. I am not a full-time painter, and so I don't have all the cool gadgets that many many guys have. Uh, so what I did was I went down to the local Harbor Freight and I got everybody's favorite purple gun. I got that Central Pneumatic purple spray gun from Harbor Freight. Now what uh, I started looking on the internet to try to find out if this was... Uh, going to be able to handle spraying that thick Benjamin Moore, Benjamin Moore Advance and I couldn't find anybody that was doing it successfully did find a bunch of people that said that uh, you needed to have a tip that was at least a one point uh, at least a 2.0 to spray something thick like this stuff now I did find one good fella who said that he had drilled out his tip and so uh, that's what I attempted to do. So here's my gun. One that I just got. And I've been cleaning it up. Everybody, like everybody says, these things need to be cleaned up well before you start using them. If you were to look inside, uh, and I'll go ahead and take off this tip. If you were to look at all of these threads, I'm not sure if you can see that very well, but all of these threads were just coated with like a silicone. There's a little residue that's still there. You can see some residue inside of here that's still there. And um, so I went ahead and took all of this off. Um, Took it all the way down. Some of you guys have, have, I'm sure, have done this before. But uh, a couple of things that I have, that I found out in the process. To get this part of the cap off, this part of the tip off, you need an Allen that'll get in there. Now this is a quarter-inch Allen. But I think one size larger would actually be the best. And uh, I was able to unscrew all of this and get in here with a wire wheel and clean this up, clean up the surfaces that uh, I could. But surfaces like what you see there, well, that I had to do with a toothpick and a little brush and uh, you can still see that there's some residue but wherever I could get the wire wheel I did a pretty good job so uh, the big thing though alter the big alteration that I made was following this other guy's advice this little fella here needs to be able to get uh, the paint through this tiny little hole and if you look at the cap cap says that this is a 1.4 and everyone says that you need at least a 2.0 to spray this well I just happen to have my own drill which I know most of you have and I got out my calculator because I didn't believe the guy the guy said that I needed to use a 564 um, bit in order to drill out that hole because 564 is roughly 2 millimeters. So I did all of my math and I got out my micrometer and sure enough that's roughly 2 millimeters. So that tiny little uh, thing there is what I used. And I put this down on a base 
and I had a, uh, uh, I don't have a drill press, but I do have a, uh, a bench top contraption where you can hook your hand drill in and make it a, uh, make it function like a drill press, and so that's what I used. And I drilled out this low hole to where now it is 5 ths or roughly 2 millimeters. So I'm going to put this gun back together now. I'm going to follow some of the uh, suggestions. There's a guy on the net called Redneck who does Redneck Restoration. I forget what his name is. But I saw him take one of these apart. And he was clear about using Teflon tape not the and not the one for water, the one for gas, using that on this fitting and then down on this fitting. And so that's what I plan to do. Like many people, uh, or if you looked at Harbor Freight and you saw the other version of this, it comes with a gauge. I'm going to go ahead and put a, uh, put a pressure gauge on the bottom of this too to give me a little bit more control. Uh, from what I gather, if you uh, open this up to its uh, full, uh, full capacity, I could use that pressure gauge, the uh, handle on that pressure gauge, to dial it in to the pressure I, I want. So that's what I think I'm going to do here. Now the light's getting kind of poor, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, close up shop for the day. And I'm going to be back uh, tomorrow where I actually put some paint in this thing. And we're going to see how well it paints uh, at 2 millimeters. Alright guys, see you later. Okay guys, here we are, back again, and uh, it's the next morning, and I finished getting my gun all put together, and uh, you'll see that I got a, um, uh, a pressure gauge set up, and uh, the box, uh, the Harbor Freight box, says that uh, this gun is supposed to push uh, 6 CFM at 40. And I think 40 is the maximum pressure this gun is supposed to have, so I use my gauge to set it at uh, 40 PSI coming out of the hose uh, with the trigger pressed. And uh, from what I gather, that's the way it's supposed to work. Uh, so uh, what that means is I, adjust, I pressed the trigger and adjusted the gauge until what was coming out was 40. Over at my tank, my tank is probably set at 80 or 90 right now. Um, uh, but 40 is all we need to push uh, stuff out of this gun and I was already playing around with this with a little bit of water and I wanted to show you all that now that I've got everything uh, put together and there's probably better guys than me to show you how to do all uh, put it together but uh, there's a couple of guys that have YouTubes on how to set up these uh, Harbor Freight uh, purple uh, paint guns. So uh, uh, I followed their cleaning instructions and you can probably make out that I got a little bit of yellow uh, Teflon tape on there at a couple of places. And so let's take a look at how it does with water. That little bit of drip came from the top of the gun. I noticed that a little bit of water is uh, is uh, dripping from here after I've used it. I think that's, I don't think that's an issue of a leak. I think that's just a little bit left on the tip. But here we go. I think that's a pretty good spray pattern. It's not putting a whole lot out. I do see quite a bit of overspray. Um, I'm hoping that that's because this is water and it's such a light material. But uh, we're going to check it out in a second with some actual paint. I'm going to go ahead and strain some paint into the cup. And, uh, and then uh, we'll come back and we'll put down some cardboard and we'll see how this does. That'll be the final test. Is how does it work with that uh, Benjamin Moore Advance. So we'll be back in a second. Okay guys. I think I'm set up now. I strained my paint. I strained my paint into my cup. And 
I know that this setup is not going to be right uh, because this paint is just so much thicker than the water. I know I'm going to have to do a little adjustment, but I'm going to leave this gauge alone. Uh, I have my airflow all the way open because this gauge is what's controlling everything. And so now I'm just going to adjust and I'm going to go ahead and assume now that I need to open this up quite a bit. So that's getting pretty close to wide open right there. So let's see how we do here on this board. All right, it's spraying and I don't think I saw Let's let my compressor run for a second. All right, so that's spraying, but it's not putting out a whole lot. But I don't think I saw any um, any spitting, which is what I was really worried about. So let's try that again. I opened it up some more. Guys, I'm, I'm close to saying that this is a success. I wish this was putting out more. It means that I'm going to probably have to make a double pass with each, uh, at least a double pass. But my, my overspray really is minimal. Yeah, so my compressor is a, a little on the small side, so I can see how... If you're going to work this way, you're going to need a lot of air. Uh, you're going to need a lot of air to do this, uh, this way, so maybe I need another tank to add onto that compressor. But otherwise, um, I think this is pretty good. Uh, I did try this with my, I don't know if I mentioned this already, I did try this with my other sprayer. I have another Harbor Freight uh, turbine uh, fed sprayer and it would hardly push this paint through. It did nothing but spitting. This is so much more of an improvement over this. And uh, this may not look real good, but this is also over bare wood. Uh, no primer, no sealer. This wood has been outside for ages, and it is just sucking up uh, all of the paint as fast as I can lay it down. Uh, but otherwise, I think this is a pretty good, uh, a pretty good showing here. This is probably a better rate for something like primer, considering how thick this paint is. This is even thicker than primer. So that size hole, uh, remember I drove that out to a 564th, that's probably, uh, this would probably price primer or maybe even a thinner latex perfectly. Um, let's see if I get a little bit, nope, that was my last, that was my last thread. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to do, right? That was my last thread. Yeah. That's as wide open as this gun will go. I'm thinking I'm probably going to need at least three passes and um, what uh, the project I was looking at doing was just cabinet doors. I think this is going to be fine for that. Uh, I certainly couldn't, I might, might have trouble painting a whole door, but if I'm just working on cabinet doors, I'm pretty confident. So, uh, so with our uh, gun here, I got this gun on a special sale. Uh, usually when you get it on sale it's uh, $10, $9.99. On this particular day it was even cheaper than that. It was $7.99 so I got, made sure I got two of them. Now this gauge was more expensive than the gun. This gauge was $13 and then I got a few more dollars in fittings on here. Uh, so all told this is probably a $30 setup. 
these fittings and gauges would have probably been necessary regardless of what gun I got. So um, I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident. I think this is going to be a success. Yeah, so uh, if you got any questions or comments, feel free to, to post them. But I think we're going to call this a success for now. All right, thanks a bunch.